People from all walks of life are doing their part to pay tribute to those affected. Local 10's Madeline Wright is live to show us how Surfside is staying strong. Madeline. Janice Christie, people in the community are grieving alongside the families of the victims of the collapse. They've come here to Surfside from across South Florida to pay their respects. While search teams look for survivors for the fifth day in a row. I'm having two days I cannot sleep because of this tragedy. This makeshift memorial near Champlain Tower South is growing. To show Surfside that we're always going to be here for them and we're here for them, you know. Candles, flowers, and prayerful messages are providing peace and comfort during this time of immense grief. It's very emotional because you're not only seeing adults, but you see babies, kids, uh, young adults. Throughout the day yesterday, something like unimaginable. Folks in the community like Liliana Lala came to reflect on the tragedy. I'm thinking about the family, what they get it through now, it's just painful. These nine families missing are registered members of St. Joseph's Catholic Church, a few blocks away from the disaster zone. And then noticing that, you know, we have families that are apart from my church, it's more emotional. <laughs> Back live, this is the part of Champlain Tower South that did not collapse. People in the community are hoping and praying for a miracle that somehow search teams will find people trapped under the rubble who are still alive. Live in Miami Beach, Madeline Wright, Local 10 News.